welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about face masks. I love face masking and it's a great time in the face masking world right now because there is just so much variety available on the market. Face masks claim to do basically anything and everything for your skin. So you get some that hydrate the skin, plump the skin, lift and firm the skin, reduce oiliness in the skin, exfoliate the skin. You have overnight face masks, you get sheet face masks, you get face masks that claim to illuminate the skin. So I just find it really fun to use them. I find them very therapeutic to use. I like to unwind with a face mask. I'm gonna share with you a whole range of face masks that I've got laid out today. I want you to comment and let me know what your favorite face mask is. Without further ado, I'm gonna pop these on. Okay, so the first mask that I have to share with you is the one from The Body Shop and it's the Japanese Matcha Tea Face Mask. I was immediately drawn to this because it contains matcha, which is known to be an antioxidant. And this is supposed to help to reduce the harmful effects of pollution on your skin. It's got dandelion extract in it, which is supposed to reduce the effect of aggressors on the skin. Uh, so if you live in areas that are high in congestion, lots of traffic, and you know like at the end of a day, sometimes you can just, uh, I, this happens to me every time I'm in London, by the way. You know like when you're out on the tube or like sort of out on the streets and there's loads of traffic, you can just feel it in your skin at the end of the day. So this is really great at just cleansing the pores. As soon as you take it off, your skin feels fresh. To me, my skin feels brighter. It's a lovely face mask. So the next masks are actually eye masks. These are the Elemis Pro Collagen Hydra Gel Eye Masks. Elemis have a whole range of their marine cream, their Pro Collagen Marine Cream. These are really convenient to use. They immediately hydrate the eye area. So if you suffer from fine lines around the eyes, or if you notice that you know your, your concealer's cracking a lot more easily, or if you've got flakiness around the eyes, uh, say if you're using a retinol, which can make your skin really dry and irritated, and you just need that sort of boost of hydration especially around the delicate eye area these masks are great for that you can really see immediate results and your skin just feels really lovely and soft afterwards so the next face mask that I have to share with you is the Hala and Glow Rainbow Chaser Illuminating Peel-Off Face Mask which is a peel-off face mask <laughs> you basically pop these on um, and after they've dried you peel them off I really like the affordable range of masks that Hala and Glow have these are available in Primark I believe this one was like three pounds. They also do sheet masks. It's a really nice way to even start off the day. Cause sometimes I'll just pop a mask on in the morning. You know, when the kids are going to school, you're getting the breakfast ready, etc. And then they go off and then you get a couple of minutes to yourself. Um, it's a nice time to just kind of fit in a face mask and uh, entertain the kids at the same time. Okay. The next face mask is a new one from Kiehl's. It's called the Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Mask. Now this is an overnight mask. So you put it on like a moisturizer at night massage it into your face and then leave it overnight and wash off in the morning. After you wash this off, your skin feels so soft and smooth. There are times where I won't even put on a moisturizer before putting on my foundation for the day um, or whatever base I'm using for the day because my skin just feels so moisturized and, and soft and ready for the day. The next mask that I have to show you is one of my favorites. It's by Arc. It's called the Skin Perfector Hydration Injection Mask. This just boosts the skin with so much moisture and hydration. It contains hyaluronic acid, uh, which is known to give that sort of plump look to the skin. And the more plumped it kind of feels, the less fine lines you get in your skin and the less your skin will kind of succumb to the, the effects of aging, basically. Uh, which you can't stop, but you want your skin to look at its best. You know what I mean? And if you're in your mid 20s you should already start to to really look after your skin i mean you should start from like when you're 16 17 18 anyway but uh me now i'm 34 i really like to spend the time and invest that time into myself it's not just about how much you spend on a product it's about the time that you take out that's really important because sometimes you know it's hard to make time for yourself you know putting on a mask like this for 10 15 minutes in the day i can put it on and relax or just get on and do something and once you wash it off seeing the results make it totally worth it. So this also has vitamin A to regulate collagen synthesis, vitamin B5, it's got vitamin E to prevent UV damage, vitamin C to fade pigmentation. It just has a whole cocktail of really great ingredients. The next mask that I have to share with you is a very exciting one. I literally, I put it back in the box. I've used this so many times, but I just put it back in the box just because I don't know why. Um, but this is the one by The Ordinary. I think it's just, it gives it that status in my cupboard. I am the boxed one. It's the AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. These are basically acids 
which help to exfoliate the top layers of your skin. It's so important as part of your anti-aging skincare routine to have a good exfoliant. Whether you use a chemical one or a physical one, exfoliating the skin cells is really important because it helps to get rid of that dull effect that you get in your skin, which is dead skin cells. That's why your skin looks dull. So this is a really lovely mask that The Ordinary have made. It's red in colour, which is great to freak people out who don't know about it. I love to use salicylic acid as part of my skincare routine, so this is just absolutely perfect for me. It's a 10 minute exfoliating facial, and what you do is you put this on and, well, you can immediately feel something happening, you know. When I first used this, like for the very first time, I actually got really worried because I could really feel like a slight sting stinging sensation. Um, and I was like, okay, if this gets any worse, I need to wash it off, but it was, it was bearable, it was fine. Uh, so it can irritate the skin if you've got sensitive skin or if you've never used it before, if you, or if you haven't kind of put yourself onto a proper anti-aging skincare routine. Like now if I use this, I don't feel it at all, so I have to really make sure I'm timing myself and taking it off in time. Okay, so the next mask is my favorite one from Glaglow. This is a clearing treatment that you can use either to spot treat, so if you've got any blemishes, it helps to dry them out. I like to use it all over my face because it's a really great mask that does oil control. Although I don't have oily skin, as part of my anti-aging routine, I like to use products that help to control oil production. A product like this is really useful to have in your mask wardrobe. Let's move on to sheet masks. Now sheet masks are so convenient to use. I love to travel with them. I've been known to put one on on the plane when I'm traveling. And I just love that they're just so drenched with so many ingredients. Basically, although they all claim to do different things, what I find personally with sheet masks is that they really hydrate the skin afterwards. So they might have other things that they claim to do, but for me, number one is that they hydrate the skin. So this one is the Nip and Fab Hydrate, the Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Mask Extreme. So you just pop this on, leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes, take it off, wash your face, and you're done. It's just really convenient and easy to use. You also get Korean face masks now. You can get these off websites. Uh, sometimes you won't know what exactly they're for, so everything will be in Korean, but you get the gist. Look, Koreans are number one where it comes to skincare, so I just trust their face masks. This one is a mint wrap. This really soothes and cools the skin. It has tea tree extract in it, which is kind of anti-blemish or help to fight any blemishes that you've got either on the skin or that are about to come out. Those are all the masks that I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Remember to comment and let me know what your favorite masks are. It could be any mask at all, even a DIY one. I'll catch you next time. Toodles.